uh, I am really honored to uh, have you here. Thanks for taking time out. Uh, audience, a quick warning: if I see, I mean, you see me crying while taking uh, <laughs> interview for Joyce, uh, please, please uh, bear me for this particular interview because uh, she has actually lived my life. What I wanted to do is, you know, she has actually done it, and it's. I feel so jealous uh, hearing what she has done. So, uh, yeah, introducing Joyce. Uh, she is. Uh, uh, traveler, she has uh, quit her corporate life a couple of years back and decided to, you know, withdraw all her PF money and then travel <laughs> uh, Europe. And then she decided this is what I want to do. She uh, spends her, she earns, she spends all her money traveling. Uh, we we have a lot of people uh, who travel for work, but she decided to basically. Uh, for travel, she decided that she should work in cruise lines and uh, that's what she does. So a quick introduction, Joyce, before we get into the rapid fire. So over to Joyce. Hi, um, I'm Joyce. I haven't really like prepared a formal uh, introduction for myself because I'm a very casual person. I hope I'm loud, loud, like audible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So... I've been working in the corporate for a while. I, I did work in uh, Deloitte and uh, I decided that was not the lifestyle I would continue and I would never see myself. Uh, you know, like I have just one life and I wanted to really be like live it great is what is my definition of life is. So I decided to like, you know, withdraw all the money and uh, go on a trip to Amsterdam. And I think that's where I, uh, you know, like first time I stepped on a plane, first time I have been um, outside India. Because I feel like uh, me being in India and the way the family that I come from, I haven't uh, really seen a lot to life. And I think uh, that is when I really wanted to do, like this was in my 20s, this, uh, you know, like traveling and living. So I went to Amsterdam. I went and seen all the museums. I stayed there for like 40 days without really doing anything great. Like, you know, like without doing any work or without having a stress uh, so I, I was just living carefree. And from small, sorry, from small, I always um, used to say, you know, to everybody that I would live like a nomad where I don't belong to any place or to anybody, you know, like I used to fancy living a very detached life, but I never knew like what exactly was the meaning of nomad, you know, like to be in a place, not to be in a place. Then when I returned, uh, I had, I was very uneasy because, uh, you know, I feel uh, a person who travels a lot would have seen more than what a person stays in the house, like stays in your own country also, because the moment you step out, you are able to see so much of comparison between countries and also your own uh, freedom that you experience. So that was a major thing that I have done by stepping out. And that's that's I think from that's where the journey began. Then I came back and I was getting so restless then I thought okay you know like uh, it was like a personal call I mm -hmm. took up studying uh, psychology I did one year diploma in uh, Francis that also was late admission because uh, I, I joined late <laughs> so I thought maybe I would not get the seat but then uh, you know like uh, the nuns were very kind and they gave me the seat and I did like for nine months course it bought uh, that course was very uh, enriching it had made me realize uh, what exactly i am it brought me closer to myself so after seeing the world for like 40 days that i lived and then when i came back and i did this kind of course for one year for my own self uh, the kind of confidence it had built in me it i think i built a lot of self love from there mm -hmm. then on because i i think the concept of love is not being dependent on somebody so like i have everything in me so that is when I started my journey more in, you know, like uh, I started working more on my dreams. I used to make a list of what exactly like, you know, I would like to acquire in the five years. And mm -hmm. then I realized it was just countries. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know, <laughs> I have to travel the world. For me, it was a huge dream to go to Rome and uh, Italy, especially because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like there were so many stories that I read about Italy and going to Rome. And I never been there, so I have no idea what exactly it was. So fancying to be living in Europe was another thing. So I thought, okay, fine, you know, 
and then i started working with dps as a school counselor and in the evening i used to work with, as a psychologist with the little star hospital with kids and children it was nice for a year but later i realized it was too intense and i had my own dreams like me helping somebody to live their life when i realized that i am only still not complete with my own self uh oh yeah with my cuz you just went off <laughs> for a while <laughs> so for me it was very important that whatever i do i have to justify the role that i'm playing so i that's when i met a friend of mine who was working with the uh, royal caribbean cruise ships and uh, i was actually helping him to get outside get himself out of the depression because he was <laughs> he got a little depressed working on the cruise lines for like 10 years and uh, he was like seeking for help and he was asking me to help him but help me, like you know when i was like listening to him that's how i attracted his lifestyle and i told him you know like i really want to live your life you know like i like get me a job and he was so like he was like you 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 wait i'm a psychologist so i'm more living working like a doctor and he said like people on the cruise ships are very happy they don't need a psychologist there <laughs> and i was like it is okay i will do anything you know like even if i have to work i will just work it doesn't matter like i'm good in customer service there should be some role and uh, luckily he had his ex girlfriend who was a hr in romania who was mm-hmm. hiring for uh, an italian company and he said okay fine you know just go ahead send your resume but after that don't get in touch with me because i think you are making a very bad decision i told it's okay and i think um, i sent a mess- sent a sent my resume to that person to that lady in romania and that's how in a matter of 3 days uh, i got the job but i never told my mom my family all this you know because uh, i have never seen a ocean you know in my own life i never seen a cruise ship for me it's only tangbin i mean that's how we relate no like hyderabad is only tangbin for us <laughs> <laughs> so so for for me it was like oh god you know i have done all this but i'm not sure if my mom you know like will accept it and then i told her one time you know like ah oh, how about working in the merchant navy you know it will be so much fun and then she's like where is this going and then i told her like you know i will just go for a month and i will be back if i don't like i will definitely come back you know like even i love myself and all that stuff she said okay fine but she was so scared because i had to leave her alone but when i went um, i think it's like 6 years i never returned <laughs> <laughs> how many countries did you travel in the 6 years in the 6 years i around i traveled around 90 countries yeah 90 plus wow. like 91 or 92 countries because the last contract that i had did was the world cruise so in the last 6 months itself i traveled around uh, 32 or 33 countries so that was wow. a major uh, goal yeah so this is my story so i work on 6 months on the 6 or 7 months on the cruise line on the sea and then i come back and stay in india for 3 or 4 months like even if when i'm in india like i stay with family or you know like i stay big i prefer staying alone so i can practice my own way of life mm-hmm. for 2 3 months and then i move you know i would love to i explore india a lot too because i feel it's unfair that i see the world and not see my own country so i lived in ladakh I went to Kashmir. I stayed in Marshall. Then you know, run, then Kerala. I stayed for a while. Yeah. Joyce. <laughs> Are you <laughs> crying? <laughs> While I'm hearing this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we may be smiling, but you know, there might be some tears here and there. <laughs> so, amazing, amazing journey, uh, Joyce. I, I think you know, a uh, lot of us, uh, you know, think a lot. to take that step of you know uh, doing something and you know most of us are in this rat race uh, of uh, you know climbing up the ladder uh, one title after the other and you know it, it takes guts to take that call and do what you really want to do so i i really admire that joyce i'm sure thank you uh, you're, you're happy with what you've done your family is happy with the call which you've taken so congrats on that So Thank shall we go to the rapid fire question now? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So yes. uh, what is one thing you wish you would have done but you could never do? 
I would like to do the uh, paragliding and you know, like swimming and uh, you know, like explore the world inside the sea. That is my dream. I think hope like this summer I really wanted to learn swimming, but you know, we are locked down. And I'm also like um, very allergic to chlorine, so that is mm-hmm. one reason I have. Like you know how it is in India, like it's very difficult to learn like the way it is outside our country. So yeah, that is one thing I would definitely. want to do is explore the underworld <laughs> <laughs> under the sea <laughs> okay uh, have you have you uh, i mean any time did uh, anybody sponsored your uh, travel yes they like for me when i went to ladakh even when i went to kerala it's not exactly about uh, sponsoring but i chose to work like i used to take care of a hostel in ladakh that's how you know like uh, i was a, like i was picked up from delhi then i went by car with these guys who were actually opening their own hostel you know backpackers mm-hmm. hostel and i would love to be connected with travelers so they offered me a job so i was getting paid around i think around i forgot maybe 40000 or something and wow. uh, that's how i lived in ladakh for a while because i was uh, see i i as i told you what i am earning is what i'm spending you know and when i come back to india i'm exhausted i don't have that stamina to work again because like 7 months on the sea is not easy and uh, mm. i do not want to depend on my family and all that you know like because this is my my choice of living so whatever i have i would like to live in that same means and also like when i started traveling um, this is what i learned from other travelers not like indian travelers not so much but i have learned from uh, you know like foreigners mostly mm-hmm. that they actually come to india and they do so much but they don't they hardly spend you know in india like traveling for backpackers they do this cultural agriculture or they are like taking care of something you know they they exchange travel and work so i started doing that so when i went to ladakh i stayed there for 40 days so we opened up a hostel and i was in charge so i used to take care but simultaneously i traveled and explored a lot and also i worked as a tour guide in ladakh you know like taking care of all these guys to you know like make a package and take them and equally i used to see the same so that was fun and then last year in kerala i did the same thing where yeah. uh, again you know i was taking care of a uh, hostel one of my friends he referred me to take care of it so i was in barkala which is like the closest to the club so like even if i sleep on the floor even on my bed over there i could hear the ocean you know the waves so i think that was like the most beautiful uh, thing to work so yeah so is uh, you know uh, do, you, do you have connectivity on the ship Are you connected to social media? I have Wi-Fi, but mostly I don't like to be connected because, um, like, there are ports where I go, I get free mm-hmm. Wi-Fi. So I just speak to mom and I post pictures or uh, people who I am like talking. But I don't like social, like I don't like uh, being connected. I'm very disconnected person. You know, I I prefer being connected to the nature. And the whole purpose of me working on a ship is to travel. So I feel like you know, even that one hour. like i i update mom i speak to her every day or i send a voice message or whatever but uh, beyond that i'm not the kind of person where i can sit in a cafe or mcdonalds and look you know like check for internet everywhere i'll be more happy if i'm disconnected and on uh, the ship we do definitely have satellite connection and uh, it's a bit expensive but um, there are people who need it because they have family they have kids so i think it is needed for them and i don't like to Yes. Okay. So if you if you come back and once you come back to the land and uh, if you have to ditch one of the social media platforms, what that what app would that be? You have to ditch one of the apps. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think uh, uh, like totally ditch. Hmm. At least we, at um, least temporarily ditch. I I I just like if I have to disconnect, I will disconnect totally from all the apps, and I'll just be connected to the people. And uh, maybe yeah, Facebook. I like you know now when Insta is there, I think uh, Facebook is just uh, pointless because it's the same. No, it's like a duplication of the same thing. Like I post pictures on Instagram, then again I have to post the same thing on Facebook. So I just feel like uh, Facebook. It's not so. It's not so important now the way it had to be before. Right. So if you had to eat, I I, I now 
clearly believe that i think you can travel anywhere take up any job you can eat anything so what is that one food one meal which you can eat anywhere uh, you are located and you know live for the rest of your life ah okay <laughs> i definitely <laughs> love biryani but i'm not sure if i can live like forever on biryani but mm-hmm. uh, there is like mostly i think i'm a fruits person i prefer living on fruits even right now i'm doing my uh, detox you know i'm like this is the best time for me to detoxicate myself because mm-hmm. there is no need for me to order there is no temptation there are, like even if i want to buy chicken i have to like think twice to order to go for a more market you know so for me like living on fruits is much easier okay. what what is the funniest way uh, you got injured guys pardon the funniest way you got injured I never got injured. That's what. <laughs> never. <laughs> you, you know, you won't believe. Like, I don't think I have any injuries. God willing, <laughs> and I have always been protected wherever I go. In the last six, because uh, why I'm saying this is, I'm on a larger platform now, and I can definitely say this where people are watching me. I have never been abused. I have never been, uh, you know, like uh, people say it is so unsafe to travel in India. I feel it's very wrong. I think you, as a traveler, should be very sensible because uh, even as a woman, I'm talking that uh, if you are sensible and if you know your own instinct, I think mm-hmm. uh, you can be safe. Because from past six years, I have been very safe. I'm a very safe traveler. I have fun. I uh, I'm very sensible. So even like uh, it is a respect for my own body that uh, even why do I have to get injured? You know, like I can protect myself. i have that kind of sense in me to keep myself very uh, uh protected right. and i think this is part of the self love that i have learned like you have to respect your body first super so uh, everybody has learned something or the other during this pandemic okay during mm-hmm. the lockdown what is that you've learned in life i am just glad that i finished traveling the whole world before the pandemic <laughs> <laughs> the people who are traveling the world may not experience the world the same that i have experienced and i think uh, also you know like i'm just glad that i have taken such a big risk of working in an ocean because for me water has been the biggest fear in my life and i never knew that god would put me in between the water to work you know like he just took me off land and put me in between the water like in between all my fears i had to cope so i think uh, i i have learned to be more grateful and i am more confident that uh, right now that whatever happens you know will happen for a reason and all this too will pass and i hope we all come out of this strong this is what i learn yeah okay. like it is an ongoing journey we cannot say anything you know like i am not i i don't even watch tv so that's the biggest thing for me is i am i i don't watch tv at all it's been like 6 years i don't watch movies the only time that i watch movies is in a flight because it's a long journey and i watch mostly animation because i really fancy being in another world type you know so yeah i think i'm learning to be grateful <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a lot of learning from you um, <laughs> uh, joyce do you think that people will learn something from this pandemic or you know once lockdown is over they will get back to the rat race that's What's a good question i was just thinking you know like i was sharing the same with my close friends that uh, i think it's up to you to learn it it's all up it's up to you or it's like it's up to your own perspective how much you have opened your life mm-hmm. to the world or to yourself itself you know like like um, what i was telling to my friend was this that uh, even do, before the lockdown people used to be so busy you know so occupied with their lifestyle that they never got time to sit with themselves and talk to themselves and see what exactly and where they are in life but now after the pandemic or like during this pandemic during the lockdown time this is the perfect time for you to sit with yourself or meditate or do something physically or eat healthy you know like change of lifestyle or detoxify yourself or your thoughts like why you think this way but what i seen in people is people have become more busy by doing tiktok you know like more posting pictures or you know like cooking see i'm not saying it's not good it is good what you are doing to keep yourself occupied but are you conscious enough to see what exactly you are heading in life is uh, 
what i feel you know like people should be doing like i think it is a learning for all of us because i i'm, I'm not like god willing we never get another pandemic or maybe we will get we never know because the way we are heading towards life it's so different it's not like how our parents live but uh, i just feel you know like i hope and pray like you know people should become very conscious and start living towards a conscious life than you know learning all this stuff this is what i hope that people will learn <laughs> but you never know but again it's all about individual no like i have seen the world i know how people live in belgium like i have friends around the world so i admire them i want to live their life i have a learning within and i'm like Uh, just because i chose to leave this platform corporate life mm-hmm. i'm able to explore the world i i i like you know i have the courage in me but not all are so brave so i understand that but still i would feel you know like for your for your own self for your own glory like when you turn back i hope you realize you know even in the lockdown you have been productive to your own self so what what is that uh, i mean if if you happen to get stuck in an island and uh, you you have a choice to select the celebrity with uh, whom you want to get stuck enrique with. iglesias <laughs> <laughs> enrique <wow. laughs> so that he can enter into you simultaneously he has an island you. already so i can get stuck on his island with his dogs <laughs> with his uh, little boats <laughs> for me it's, okay. he, he for me it's a huge craze like after traveling the whole world also i think from inter is what i started liking him you know from college and uh, once he came to bangalore so i forced my sister to buy tickets for me to see him and all i could see was his legs but still i was so happy that i could see him <laughs> yeah i i i don't think i would ever be able to overcome him i always say you know even my name is like joyce iglesias so yeah <laughs> <laughs> so any time you feel that the entire crew in the ship is like you know feeling low or you know there's not much of activity happening you know what what is that one uh, you know i would say funny stupid thing you would do to you know get the charm back i everybody I right no you have your first part of the question your voice will go like it was breaking yeah, so, yeah if if your crew uh, in the ship is feeling low or you know they they feeling sad or you know you feel that it's monotonous and you have to break the ice so what is that one you know naughty or you know funny or uh, you know what what is that charm, you know step you would take to bring the charm back i think like I, like i've been crew for quite a long time now and i know like all crew love food so i think um, you know like cooking fresh food for them would really be amazing and also like you know make them sleep for longer hours and give them a day break and also like all of them just go on port you know most some of them don't get the opportunity to go out so i think like all of us should go out you know like forget that there is work and not deal with passengers i think that's the biggest thing we would like to do <laughs> working on a ship and not like fake smile and you know just be ourselves i think um, that would be the most cheerful thing for us being the crew where food mm. is the majority you know like takes a lot of time because we are given fixed meals we are given fixed breaks you know it's very disciplined life we are just given like sometimes 30 minutes and we work and we i work we work like end of the shift then we have to come back to another end to eat and then you have to rush back to another end so it's 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 like you know so bizarre working on a ship i i sometimes feel like it was it needed to choose this life to travel the world but now when i think about it i think i would never be able to travel the world if it wasn't for the food life and uh, yeah food give us break <laughs> and give us wine lots of wine to drink and have party yeah <laughs> that's what we will do <laughs> sailors life <laughs> super uh, so joys uh, you, you know any sponsors who would like uh, you know a old gray head man uh, you know to travel the world take care of this thing please uh, let me know so <laughs> i would love to do that so uh, yeah so next part we come to the 1 minute cm so what would you do if you become the cm you got a uh, minute to yes, this yes i thought about do. it and uh, if i am this 1 minute cm i would definitely make india very strong because after traveling the world i feel uh, it is unfair that we keep saying india is still a developing country because i have been studying from my studies till now i feel we are still in the definition of india is a developing country i would like to develop 
in the you know like to put in the social like the status in the world that india is already a developed country that's one i would love to do and uh, because we have all the resources i think after traveling i think india is very beautiful you know like there is no country like us with our culture with our differences we are still able to live together with uh, you know like there are so many things uh, i as an indian i still feel very proud that i'm part of india i would never want to be from any other country so that is one thing i would definitely want you know india to be very strong in the image in the whole world and uh, another thing is um, i would like you know my country's passport to be very strong so i don't need visas to go to every other country that is one thing i would do and uh, yeah lastly definitely you know i would try to protect the environment it may be on a serious note but uh, this is something i'm very concerned because when i go to ladakh when i went to kashmir it's such beautiful country but you know indian travelers uh, we you know like we are we are we throw trash we everywhere we don't care even the ocean you know that i'm working like after seeing so many dolphin whales i feel sad like we being more sensible than the animals i think so, you know like we have to start living a very conscious and a higher life That's yeah. yeah absolutely correct uh, joyce i i really admire that particular point in terms of you know being environment friendly not to litter you know beautiful place uh, but i'm sure uh, we have set a mark uh, to the world in terms of uh, the way we are taking steps in terms of lockdown uh, i think we've showcased that we are far better than other countries uh, yes we definitely of, are yeah, we have set that example but yeah in terms of littering hygiene i think we we are way ahead uh, of you know getting that part of you know a developed country than a developing country so yes thanks a lot joys i mean those are like beautiful insights I, i will still you know start i mean i will still follow you while i will see, keep watching where you're traveling <laughs> don't stop me <laughs> you can continue to become uh, on your travel I, i still have a lot of pictures to scroll through uh, your profile oh. uh, and amazing locations amazing pictures amazing sites which i would love to you know visit before i die so thanks a lot joyce for taking time uh, have a safe travel i hope everything uh, settles down and you get back to travel again Yes. Uh thank yeah. you also Ravi for this uh, beautiful uh, platform that you have created. Uh, I hope you find more uh, inspiration within you to connect to more people and um, also may your dreams come true. May you live your life, may you live your dreams and uh, maybe I will stalk you later on <laughs> and I will say oh wow look this man is living his life. But uh, wherever you are I hope you be happy. Okay? thank you so much thank you thank to you. everybody and i'm grateful for your time okay thank you thank you joyce thank you. yeah take care bye bye